hello good night all so i decided to try something so i'm gonna do a quick and easy dinner i'm gonna make a stir fry ramen so here are the ingredients i have about four packs of ramen noodles i have about a pound of shrimp um i have some um, sweet peas i have three eggs i have one small onion cut up in two different ways i have green pepper sliced um, a piece of cabbage that I just kind of julienne real fine um, some spring onions or scallions chopped up some shredded carrot uh, four cloves of garlic minced and I have these are my seasoning stir fry pack soy sauce sesame oil and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how I make the stir fry uh, lo mein. Okay, so here I have the water boiling for the ramen. Now ramen is something that cooks really quickly, so you don't have to have it in there for long, maybe three minutes. So you're gonna cook the ramen unbroken and basically um, till it's cooked for about three to four minutes, maybe five since it's so many, and then drain the water off and um, run it under cold water to stop the cooking process. So in my hot, this is like a wok skillet, I'm going to go ahead and add my three eggs with about, probably about three tablespoons of oil. I use canola oil. And I'm just going to fry the eggs and then I'm going to take them out and set them to the side. See, the ramen is cooking and it really is almost done. It only takes a few minutes to make. And you don't want them to be cooked all the way through, kind of al dente, um, because you're going to add it back into the pot to stir fry. So I've fried the egg and taken it out and I'm going to go ahead now and add in my garlic and my onions and I'm going to add in some of the spring onions. I'll save some for the end. So I'm going to add in the majority of it and I'm going to saute that for about a minute or so and then I'm going to add in my um, vegetables to cook. Okay, so the onions and the scallion and the uh, garlic has been sauteing. And I'm going to go ahead now and add in the um, sweet pepper and the, uh, the carrot and the cabbage that I cut up. And I'm going to go ahead and saute that for about five minutes. Stay tuned. Okay, so the stir fry mix, what I went ahead and did was mixed it out in uh, with two tablespoons of warm water. And I added in a half a teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon, I'm sorry, of um, sesame oil. And I added in one teaspoon of soy sauce. And this mix has ginger in it, so that's why I didn't go ahead and add in more fresh ginger. Um, so basically now I'm going to go ahead, now that the vegetables have cooked, I don't want them to be overcooked. I want them to have a nice crunch. And I'm going to add in my eggs now. And I'm going to stir that around. Okay, so I'm finished stirring in the eggs. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add that, add my shrimp in now. And I'm just going to saute that for like a minute or two because the shrimp is already cooked and I don't want it to be tough. After I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add in the ramen. Stay tuned. So with a fork, which is probably the easiest way to do it, I'm going to stir through, oops, stir through the uh, vegetables in the ramen till it's completely taken up. It's kind of hard because the ramen is whole, it's not broken up, so it's long noodles. So I'm just going to mix all the vegetables and the shrimp. So now that I've combined all the um, stuff in, that was in the pot, all the vegetables and the shrimp, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in the sauce now. And I'm going to make sure that I kind of drizzle it all over. And then I'm going to just take a big spoon. I switched out the fork. And I'm just going to stir it in. Okay, so this is it. This is the final um, look of the um, stir fry lo uh, ramen with shrimp in it and um, vegetables. And at the end, you just go ahead and you put in a little bit of your 
spring onions, the ones that you put to the side, which is the scallions. Just put those on it raw. And that's it. And you enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you try it. It tastes really, really good. Really quick to make. And, you know, I think your family will love it also. So until next time, have a good evening all.